Uh, I'm really glad that you mentioned Israel because I, I think that it is a much more light comparison for our country. The United States does incredible things, but they have enormous scale. Uh, and I think that radically changes the dynamic. Israel is a small population. We're a small population. Israel is effectively an island in a commercial sense. They can't trade with their partners or their neighbours. Uh, and we're obviously an island. And culturally, I think there's a far greater alignment when we are at our best. So in Israel, the biggest thing that they have is they have this deeply entrepreneurial culture that permeates into every aspect of their life. In Hebrew, you kind of call it chutzpah, right? This go out there and have a go mentality. When we are at our best, I think we have that kind of deeply anti-authoritarian mind stance that Israelis have, which is a natural competitive advantage for us compared to, say, Singapore or Hong Kong or South Korea. Uh, and. Um, and so, so I think that there is that sort of alignment, but what are the policy settings that we can learn from them? As I said, I think the biggest challenge for us and the most important thing is that shift in our culture to embrace those best elements. But clearly on the capital side of things, as I said, uh, government investment is actually declining because private sector investment is so high. The office of the chief scientist invests $400 million. That's going down. But VC is exploding. Angel investing is exploding uh, because of the tax settings that they have. Uh, clearly, they do very well when it comes to collaboration between higher education, science, research and the private sector on the commercialisation of their great ideas. If you go to Technion or Weizmann, huge private sector engagement, turning that science into a business, a product, a service that changes the world for the better. I think if we adopt, steal some of those policy settings, we actually can uh, really embed them in what we're doing here. And I know this... Uh, well, I'm going to get you, because we, yeah, we, we make, do have I'll to get make one to, point, Tony. But I'd like you to pick up on um, the point that Holly just made yeah. about making sure it isn't all focused on one city mm. yeah. in Australia. So I'll, I'll just make this one point first before I get to the city thing. 20, 25 years ago, 30 years ago, Israel was exporting oranges and had an you know, economy in a really bad shape. Now they're a global innovation hub, so I know that we can do this. In terms